President William Ruto has called out staff at the Kenya Revenue Authority, accusing them of abetting corruption. President Ruto revealed that a section of staff at the authority have been colluding with tax evaders and thwarting efforts to seal corruption loopholes, which include the adoption of technology. He was speaking moments after he filed his returns at KRA's headquarters at Times Tower here in Nairobi, where he warned that it will not be business as usual and challenged the staff and management at KRA to change their way of operation. Safin Achieng Oma reports. Friday morning at Times Tower in Nairobi, a high-profile client walked into the banking hall of the Kenya Revenue Authority headquarters, President William Ruto. This, the first time that a head of state is filing his returns in public. Moments after filing his returns, the president met with the staff and management of KRA, where he pledged to lead from the front in instilling a culture of tax compliance among Kenyans. This exercise is not a mere dramatization or other empty public performance. It is something I believe in wholeheartedly, and it is something I cherish. The president giving KRA staff a dress down over what he described as tolerance for corruption that has created loopholes for tax evasion. Collusion wanton bribe-taking and general corruption continues to pervade the operations of this organization. There are many people who are encouraged, who are facilitated by KRA staff not to pay tax. And you know what I'm saying is true. There are many examples. If we ask Kenyans to step forward, and name the people who normally facilitate them not to pay tax. I don't know how many members of staff will remain in Kerry. According to the president, the want on corruption at the Times Tower-based Revenue Authority is to blame for the drug in the adoption of technology to improve efficiency in tax collection. Technology will make it easy for taxpayers to pay and there wouldn't be opportunities for people to um, collude and evade tax. And I'm saying this looking at you guys in your eyes. You know that it has been difficult to roll out technology, that it has been sabotaged by staff in Kerry. All that happening at a time when the president claims that the authority has sustained a lackluster performance in meeting its revenue targets. We are collecting around 15% of our revenue from taxes as a, as a percentage of GDP. Countries who are peers to Kenya, I remember giving examples of, you know, South Africa, Morocco, Tunisia, they collect between 22 and 25 percent, actually 28 percent of GDP. Kenyans are expected to file their returns by 30th of June 2023, but as the deadline fast approaches, President Ruto has challenged KRA to shape up and instill professionalism in their operations. KRA must acquire a new image. You must build a new image, an image that when people come to Times Tower, they don't come here trembling. They come here looking forward to being served. This organization was used in a negative manner to persecute people politically using taxation. And that should never have happened and it should never happen again. We are going to do things differently. It is going to be a revenue authority which will be meeting the aspirations of the Kenyans and making sure that whatever the country intends to do, it will be delivered by whatever you'll be collecting in Kenya Revenue Authority. 
Safin Achieng Oma, Citizen TV.